Um, I want to pitch you an idea this morning. I'm going to just drop in and out of role briefly to kind of tag the important aspects of a pitch that I think you need to incorporate into your pitch. You're going to come in front of sharks, and we think it's fantastic. We've actually instructed these sharks to be really harsh, to be really honest, to be really brutal and really realistic. You know, school's a place where we often kind of support you and, and try to encourage you, and they're important things that you need to have happening with your work. But at the same time, these guys are going to give you a dose of salt. They're going to give you a dose of wow, and we want you to respond appropriately. We want you to have that opportunity to build resilience. We actually want that for you to go, whoa, didn't think of that. Whoa, what does this mean? Wow, how do we go from here? Because that's very much a realistic situation um, that you're gonna face in life in a whole bunch of different ways. And how you react to that, how you respond to that is how you grow confidence, how you grow resilience, how you grow as a person and you grow as a group. You look at each other and you say, how do we go forward? You have those difficult conversations and you smash through. So I want to start my pitch this morning with a story. I want to engage you at some level. I want to tell you the coolest thing that ever happened to me. I tell you, and this is, this is no word of a lie this happened. It's unfortunate that I have to use that line at the start of my story, and I'll explain to you how I'm going to fix that problem for you afterwards. But to start with, I just want to say that this really did happen. I was living in a shed, and I was sitting there, and I was observing. Anyone know what a dragonfly is? Everyone knows what a dragonfly is, right? Large sort of thing, four wings, flies really mad, big curly tail, and I'm watching this dragonfly and I'm thinking, well, I wonder if those things bite. I wonder if it's just going to fly around the fluorescent light for a long time. And out of nowhere, the ninja huntsman spider leaps from the ceiling of the shed, unbeknownst to the dragonfly, and grabs this thing midair from about six inches below the fluoro tube, falls, plummeting to its death in this exchange with the dragonfly and then stops three inches from the concrete floor and impending doom with a bungee cord of spiderweb attached to its back and begins the death struggle. The front four legs of this huntsman are trying to wrap up a dragonfly that's longer than it is, grabbing web and fighting and wrestling and the back four legs like a perfectly synchronized handle, are just winding this spider slowly up past the amazed me. I can't believe I just saw that. All the way up to the ceiling to attach this food and move on to whatever cool other ninja tricks it's going to do. Absolutely amazing. I'd never seen a huntsman um, hunt like that. I'd never seen anything like it in my life. I was absolutely astounded. It's a part of my life that I'll never forget but I can't share. There's an airport somewhere in LA, I believe, and they actually sometimes, in bad weather, and when a plane's having a bad landing, have to stop traffic on the freeway so the plane can come past and land. There are people living in that city who have actually sat at a red light for a jumbo jet. What a cool thing to have in your life, and yet I've never seen it. The question I want to ask you today, the question that I want you to think about in the lives that you've lived and the things that you've seen and the places you've been and the stuff you've done, how much have you missed? You may have stories you can tell, but how much can you relive? How much can you show? How much can you actually share? I have an answer for you. I have a product for you. I have an idea for you that will actually change the way we do things. And this is not a new answer, and this is not a new product, and this is not a new idea. But I want to dissolve, I want to take the core elements of this problem that we face. I want to give you a chance to take back your life. I want you to see, click, and own pieces of your life that you've never had the chance to own before when they happen right in front of you and own them forever. This idea is moving through society right now. Gamers know it. Anyone here own an Xbox? You can set your Xbox to automatically buffer 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes of your life. And all you have to do is go click and recapture your gaming life back as far as you want. One click, capture that. Bikers know it. I don't know how many GoPros they've sold, but I tell you, there's a heck of a lot of them hanging off helmets and chest pieces and handlebars. I know people in this room who've got GoPro footage of their motorcycling adventures for hours and hours and hours. 
wanting to capture and own and relive the life they're living. Incredibly popular. Even the police know it. Truck drivers know it. There's a whole host of people who are beginning to take back their life, who are beginning to own and reproduce and relive great segments of their life. I want to give you an opportunity. I believe my product is going to give you an opportunity to do the same for yourself in your day-to-day -day lives. I want to introduce you to my vision. Always on. All day battery life. See it. Click, own it. This is the way of the future. This is the way people are going to take back their lives. In this modern world where everything is pics or it didn't happen, everything is show me the video, where you can make a living out of sharing your life with the rest of the world, this is the future. Now this is not a new idea, but this is a new way of harnessing the idea. Technology has gotten to a point now where we can design something which is always on, lasts all day. And with a simple click of a button and a decision that you make, you can take back sections of your life. One minute, two minutes. We can run this thing for eight hours straight with a three minute buffer. You've got three minutes to decide whether that piece of your life is worth capturing forever or not. Three minutes is a long time. You see something cool, you can go all the way back and grab it and it's all yours. My vision can be your vision. See it, click, and own it. Simple as that. Flawless simplicity. Nothing complicated, nothing difficult. One button, one idea, flawlessly executed. We have the capability to put your lenses in there. We have the capability to create all sorts of different styles, all sorts of different ideas. But the truth of the matter is the real capability we have is to give you back sections of your life that you thought you'd lost. To rescue you from that moment where you go, whoa, I wish I could share that with someone. That was amazing. Hang on a second. I've seen it. I click. I own it forever. Welcome to the future, ladies and gentlemen. You're living in it. Come join it. My vision. Thank you.